I knew I was coming here for an engine rebuild. I knew I'd done some bad stuff, but I didn't know to the extent of how bad. Is that, oh is that something God. I need? Can you put it back in, mold it back yeah. in or something? It can be rebuilt, innit? <laughs> we just found another crack on the sump. Have a look at this. Look at the size of that hole. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Nams. Welcome to another video. So as you guys know from the title, today we have a BMW M5 on the way to us on a tow truck. It's definitely not driving because it blew its engine at 120 miles an hour. Can you believe that? It's bad enough doing it at 30, 40 miles an hour, but this one blew it at 120 and accelerating. So what the customer told me was it was boosting along the road, doing 120, there was no telltale signs on the dashboard, no signs at all, just went bang, massive bang. And the next thing he knows, all the oil is pouring out the car at the bottom and underneath and he just come to a full stop he, has, he just had to pull over definitely an interesting one because i've never pulled the engine out that's failed or shall i say blew his engine at 120 miles an hour there's going to be catastrophic damage on this one i can guarantee that i'm just looking forward to see exactly how bad the customer is a fellow youtuber he goes by the name of f speed he's got a youtube channel and instagram i'll put his details in the description below so you guys can check him out he's about a few minutes away now so let's not waste too much time and let's get started the plan is to put it on the ramp straight away as we freed up the space for him it's going straight on up in the air remove the engine and see exactly what's going on here i can guarantee you there's a massive hole in this block of this engine and i just want to see how big it's going to be because i just know it's going to be a bit of a mad one so guys stay tuned and enjoy and just like that welcome to the beginning of the return of the f10 m5 Oh my god, I can't tell you how excited I am. Here she is. Join us on the journey to get this back on road. We're on the way to East London. We're gonna go meet a gentleman by the name of Nams. Nams is on social media as Nams Boost just down here. He owns a company called Boost Tech Performance. And they have undertaken the mammoth challenge of rebuilding this monster. Next stop, Londres, baby. <laughs> Technic performance, the F10 is here, ready to undergo probably the biggest surgery of it. Well, definitely the biggest surgery of its life. Let's hope these wizards are uh, as good as they've been made out to be. In Nams, we trust. Let's get at it. Finally got the M5 on the ramp. We got it out of park. Finally here. We got F here, the owner of the car. The so, sad owner of the car. Sad owner, that's it. <laughs> so tell me more about the car, what happened? What so, it? I sent it to the moon. Yeah. Uh, I was racing a 320D, because yeah. I'll race my own shadow. <laughs> yeah. um, it was about 120 on a private runway, and all of a sudden, it wasn't even like big. Something just went thrrr. This is the fattest L. I just think I blew up the engine on my M5. You can see under the car, through that puddle there, coming from up there, and then it's coming all the way. That's all oil. So that's the state. That's how much oil is under it. But I just noticed, look at the back of the car. It's absolutely drenched in oil. The car is literally drenched in oil. It's no longer F speed. It's F oil! And it threw so it itself into it completely neutral. completely blew up basically. And smoke everywhere, pulled over on the side. The whole thing was covered in oil. The whole bag was peeing out of the oil. I'll send you some shots. And that was it. So yeah, that's We're the story. We're about to have a first hand look. That's the story then. So the engine basically blew up. All the oil came out, right? It's definitely got a big hole in the block. The first thing to do, I'm gonna remove this engine out of the car and take it from there. Are 
ready to see your engine, yeah? I'm scared. This is the first time you're going to see it, isn't it? Yeah, the first time. It's the first time it's been looked at. This is uh, the all important moment, really, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So we're going to remove this cover underneath. As you can see, all the oil went all over the damn pipes, exhaust, all the way to the back of the car. How fast were you going when it happened? About 120. <laughs> you're going 120 miles an hour when you blew the engine. <laughs> so can you imagine how it's going to look underneath? Let me just tell you this, the 320 that I was racing... Is that part of it as well? Oh, crap. Probably is. What were you saying? I, I, I said I won the race. No, no, you're saying about a pre-series or something. Yeah, the 320D that I was racing... Yeah. Even after blowing... Even after blowing the engine, it still took about 30 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, guys, the cover's just about to come off. Now I'm going to reveal underneath the car and look for any problems. This is a big uh, look, at this. We look at this. Oy! Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Got oil everywhere. Is that, oh, is that no, something yeah. I need? Can you put it back in, mold it back yeah. in or something? It can be rebuilt, innit? <laughs> <laughs> what does that look like? Part of the rod? Rod or piston? Uh, black. Block, block, part of the block, yeah. Part of the block. That here looks like a bearing. So yeah, you've definitely got a block. You've definitely got a hole in the block. It might be the intercooler though. <laughs> that might come out the intercooler. <laughs> <Hopefully>. <laughs> intercooler dreams have gone, mate. Who knows, innit? <laughs> Who knows? Mm. No, not really. Because um, when the engine sees up, obviously the wheels are still rolling. It's still on gear. So it wouldn't like, you know. Right, 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 right. That's why I went into neutral. Yeah? I mean, when I blew it up, I literally, oh, I neutral, yeah? not, my ass fell out. I just <laughs> thought, oh my God. <laughs> have I really <laughs> done what I thought I'd just done? Everyone said to me, don't buy an M5, don't buy an M5. It's going to blow up. Imagine me now going to see my boys and all of a sudden it just blows up. It was the first trip I'd ever taken into Manchester. So to those that are watching and thinking what on earth is going on with the wrap on the car, uh, a couple of friends of mine just literally wanted to try to learn to wrap so that's why it's in this condition. It's just a trial wrap uh, to see if they can get their skills up to level. Uh, to be fair with you, it came out flipping amazing. So we're currently just looking for the hole in the block. Now you find a hole already. You found it, yeah? Is that yeah. it between those two pipes there? The yeah, so right over there. Damn, son. Right, okay. So, as I told you, on the camera. Sean is Mr. Lover Lover. He didn't mess about, he found the hole in a second. Yeah, I'm telling you, I love, I, right. I love to find I haven't really right. captured that. I always find But what we're going to do anyway, you're going to get this engine out, <laughs> and we'll have a proper look once it is out, and we'll show you exactly the size of this hole in the block, and take it from there. I knew I was coming here for an engine rebuild. I knew I'd done some bad stuff, but I didn't know to the extent of how bad. These are coming home with me. Oh, I've paid, I, I paid good money for this. I paid good money for this metal right here. 25 grand to repair. <laughs> yeah, somewhere around 25,000 pounds. every last piece of uh, itemage off of the flipping car. What we're doing is taking all of the wiring harnesses and ancillaries. Is that what we're doing? There you go, I'm a, I'm a mechanic now, I'm telling you. We just found another crack on the sump. Have a look at this. Massive crack underneath. So here we got the jack. We're about to remove the gearbox. The plan is to take the engine at the top. So yeah, let's drop this box down. Almost there. And that there is the gearbox on her way out. And that is how to remove a gearbox from an F10 M5. Is that the clutch? Really, yeah. Oh my God, I'm a mechanic. All right, there you go. That's what an F10 M5 clutch looks like. <laughs> and just like that, the wizards themselves have gotten the engine out of the beast. The heart of the beast is being removed. Two hours later, 
The engine is finally out, as you can see. Here's the V8, 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Oh my day, look inside, forget the block. <laughs> <laughs> People are talking about the hole, yeah? Yeah. Have a look inside, just look deep inside there. We need every single part for this engine, everything. Oh my there, God. There you go. Oh, it's all gone. I mean, that looks like mishmash metal in there. That's I it, can't man. really tell what I'm looking at. It's basically a smashed up engine. One of the worst we've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, after many hours of stripping, who wants to see the extent of damage in the cylinder block? You guys won't believe it. This is definitely the worst I've ever seen in a block in my life. Now that's the block, right? Now it's fully stripped out, as you can see. Every single ancillary bolt and pipes have been taken off. And look at this. We had a con rod rip right through the block. That is crazy. Uh, you got the oil squirters there as well. They've been shoved aside by the power of this rod. Got another hole there. And you got another massive hole there, which you saw before. And you got that chunk as well. Can you believe that damage? That is absolutely nuts. Look at this. This other side. That is crazy. Never have I seen a block with three holes in it. Absolutely nuts. But yeah, guys, I think where we stripped everything down to pieces and now we're just waiting on parts. It's safe to say this is the end of part one. Join me on part two. It's going to be very interesting because this engine is going to have a full forged rebuild. It's going to have forged rods and forged pistons. And I'll explain more about that once the parts arrive. So I think I'm going to call it a day in this one. Um, I'd like to show you another M5 that's also joined us. Engine rebuild as well. This one's come down from Manchester. So remember, we're in London. Come all the way down from Manchester. Very nice one as well. Engine's out already. Not making a video on this one. It doesn't make sense to make videos on two M5s at the same time. But he's just going for the normal rebuild to basically bring it back to factory condition again. And um, yeah, same with this one. We're ordering parts on this one. I'll try to keep you guys updated on this one at the same time as I do for this, for F-Speeds M5 as well. But yeah guys, um, this is Nams here from Boost Performance. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching, drop me a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.